Daniel, a 61-year-old architect, had run his suburban practice for 24 years. As part of his exit strategy, he brought in a younger partner, Sue, five years earlier. They had a good practice with 21 employees and took whatever work they could – schools, residential, commercial, and even landscaping. The unpredictable roller coaster nature of their business required this. Could he afford to retire? And how would he get paid out? Sue was a talented architect, but she could not afford to buy him out. And could she lead and grow the business without him? Daniel and Sue identified residential areas with a high concentration of private tennis courts, a luxury used less amid increasing maintenance costs. They developed three beautiful homes that occupied the surface area of a court and met regulatory compliance. The designs ensured a quick home delivery, completed by a handful of accredited small construction firms. Their precise positioning allowed them to market their service directly to residential homeowners and real estate agents. It was easy to communicate their simple benefits, as a home for elderly parents, grown-up kids, or tenants, at attractive rental rates. It also increased the value of the property to offset the investment. In addition to creating more predictable revenues for the practice, Daniel and Sue worked with ORC facilitators to hand over operational responsibilities to Sue. First, they aligned on the practice's future to allow Sue to take over operational control willingly. Then they structured the sale of his shares to Sue. They used the ORC dashboard to define the payment milestones to support Sue's ability to fund the share acquisition. Daniel exited with full insight into strategic and operational activities until all payments were completed.